Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Zero Jake, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, so last episode, we created a base defense, if we want to mosey on up there. Uh, made of four Gatling turrets based on this, and it's got a central cargo container in, in which we can throw ammo so that they get supplies. They have, a, they have a defense range of about 800 meters, and because there's four of them, it means that they can chew up small ships pretty easily. Um, now, because we don't have access to uh, a large amount of magnesium, we don't have much ammo, and we're not using missiles, otherwise I would have added missiles. Um, but what I've done is I've added another one over here, uh, in between, well, but after last episode I added this, which is basically a duplicate but the other way around. Uh, we could probably paint it, actually. Hang on. Now, for some reason, this seems a bit off-kilter. Why does it seem off kilter? It shouldn't be. It's on the same grid as that. Oh yeah, that's why. Uh, yeah, so it's on the same grid as this, but curvature is making it so that we're a bit, a bit off with uh, how things should usually go. You can see just a just a slight difference in uh, altitude, or rather in uh, curvature here. Yeah, that's gonna be weird. How about I just don't, I just don't think about it. Yeah, I think that might work. Right, let's uh, paint this up, and then we'll get to today's uh, business, which is uh, we need to start planning out the base properly uh, in a way that uh, we can start expanding our production facilities, expanding our hangars, um, probably building a shipyard somewhere. Basically, building the plan in which we're going to use to expand the base. Other side, yeah. Uh, this thing is on struts because uh, I'm not building the entire t uh, the entire thing. That would be a bit expensive. Um, but for now, it can just stay like this. I mean, yeah, you just throw an explosive there and it's just collapsing and out of power and everything. But I don't care. So, what I've done is I've gotten rid of all of our steel plate uh, our armor block uh, walkways, all of them, and then I've built out these struts just to keep things connected. So this is connected, that's connected. We've got, we've still got the circumference um, of the level ground area, but that's basically just so that I can excavate if I need to. Uh, and then we've got the center point. Uh, I have deemed that this is the center point. This, this block here, because it's 88 blocks to there, horizontal, not counting vertical, and 88 blocks to there. So, yeah, uh, it's not going to be 88 blocks to that version, uh, to the thing over here. I've not uh, hooked it up yet, but we do have a welded armor block here that basically designates here's here, uh, which I think I times 88 by 2.5. Yeah, so uh, it, this is 110 from the center. So it's not going to be a circle. It's going to be an ellipse or something like that. Um, but we don't have to care about ellipses, we're doing hexagons, no, octagons, yes. As previously stated, we need to set up uh, conveyors, and I think I'm going to be using squares, not octagons. Octagons are for the, uh, for the wall that comes later. Uh, so first things first, we're going to need to grab a healthy amount of interior plate, uh, and also change our colour back. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just just checking that I've got the correct color because having the incorrect color is painful. So, for now, because we are going to upgrade this base once we encompass the entire crater, is uh, for now we want to set out some places. This center area is going to be our primary landing pad where everything lands uh, and we've got a series of connectors that we can have people connect to though we might have those raised above maybe um we're going to relocate the solar panel uh to somewhere along the ridge just so that it can get more daylight and we're going to have multiple of them we have the resources to do that so that's fine right so how big the landing pad do we need it well let's say that we want a 10 radius landing pad which we can't do because this is not a point, this is a block. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
right? We want to turn radius, so this is the 11th block afterwards, and this is where we're having our conveyor. So I'm just going to do that. So that's a 10 difference. That's a 10 inside distance. 12 outside, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. Uh, I'm going to speed this up by using a jetpack. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I got that right, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now that we've placed down those, uh, we're going to place down the rest of the square. So that's the square. The inner section is going to be our landing pad, which is useful. And then we can use the connectors for whatever, well, the conveyors, whatever we need them for. Um, we're then going to hook up, because we're going to need to hook it up. Uh, let's quickly uh, get rid of this one, add that, and then stick a steel plate here so that I can start getting rid of this. Uh, we're going to replace this line with a conveyor line. Um, because we're going to need it to, co to connect to our original stuff. Right. Uh, thank you. No. There we go. Okay, so now that's connected, I can get rid of you. And then we're just going to connect the rest of them. So this is the, uh, th this is the inner section of our lovely um, conveyor line. And you I've already done. Excellent. Right, and then of course we'll have spokes, uh, we'll have a spoke going off here so that we can connect to this tower, spoke going off there to connect to the west tower and the east tower, etc, etc. Right, so we've measured where we want that, which means that out here we can have like lower level buildings so like one story buildings so this won't be you know a, a massive factory building um but probably something else like either smaller landing pads or um medical rooms habitation storage rooms etc etc uh so we're gonna want how big do we want that so let's say that we want a perimeter of two around the outside of these. Okay, we, we want a perimeter of two outside of each conveyor line. Just for spares, so that would be for structure walls and free space and what have you. Um, and then the inside, the interior um, amount that we're going to need. We're going to be using large cargo containers as an example, so that's going to be three, and then we're going to want a connector in the middle so we can walk down the middle. Uh, so that's seven distance. So we follow if we follow uh, that up with our one, two. Hang on, if I do that, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we have another distance of one, two. We then get our second section right maybe if we increase that by a couple maybe if we make that nine distance instead yeah nine would probably be better 
Okay. Wrong one, this one, and then this. Okay, so if we have Right, what's that total distance? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Right. That's a 13 interior difference. Um, and, you know, I could do the calculation myself, but I don't trust my calculations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And here. Energy low. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go to the med bay in a second. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And the last one. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that will give us um, a medium square. All right, so we've got the inner. We've got, uh, and then we'll have an outer, which is even further away. Uh, and then this is the inner one. So technically we can have buildings that are placed in line with this and they feed off of it. Yeah, that's a potential. Um, and by going with that 13 distance, we can place another ring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 distance. And then place it. How's that look in terms of distances? I think that will work out. Um, test, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, yeah. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, what kind of what kind of corner will that get us to? That will get us to uh, ever so slightly in the cliff. That that I think is fine as an outer section. And then we've got additional room over here and on the other side for whatever other projects we may want. Right, that sounds good. I'm going to build all of those, and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've uh, I've placed all the conveyors that I can for now. Um, and as you can see, it's it's a bit big, ever so slightly. Uh, this will give us plenty of room to operate. And that's not even considering that we have the ability to go higher. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Okay, so next thing, things that we need to consider. Uh, some of these uh, conveyor lines, and by some I mean nearly all of them, um, are... Well, they have obstacles. So, for example, our base is an obstacle for one of them. Uh, so we're going to need to move this landing platform. Um, in addition, we've got some places that need excavating in order to place these down properly. Uh, this barely needs excavating. I pr probably could do that by hand, but the other one is going to require the mining ship. So, we've now got three rings of various sizes. Um, and quite a lot of space to build. So the next thing that we need to do is, well, start moving things, I guess. Uh, first thing we're going to need to move is this, uh, this landing platform so that we can move the uh, recon ship over. Uh, we're probably also going to deconstruct what we've got here and uh, place this facility in the center of the crater as well. We're also going to need to move the solar panels. Um, and then once we've done that, then we can start designing new places. Um, but mainly, I've just got to weld all of this up, really. Uh, and that's not entertainment by itself. Uh, yeah, so first things first. things first. We are going to need to grab some steel. I'm going to do most of this out of uh, recording. So I'm not going to record most of this. Um, but over the course of several uh, interludes between episodes I'll have uh, welded all of this together and it will be lovely and uh, the episodes following will be uh, mostly on uh, things that we're building in the base such as I don't know a cargo room or a, or a factory or something like that yeah this is going to take me a while 
Right, extend that to there, and then we'll weld up a space in which we can uh, set down the recon. So let's say, like, starting here. Yeah, that's big. No, that's not big enough. Grab the steel. Place it down. That's. I'm not in a spaceship. Pressing spacebar does not mean I move upwards. It just means I jump. Yeah, right, okay. Let's go grab the recon ship. Uh, we are going to engage. Thank you. We're going to uh, engage in inertia dampeners. We're then going to unpark. Uh, yeah, I replaced uh, the landing gear on it, so I am going to need to disable auto lock. Save off terminal. Right. Okay. And Turn that off, get out. There we go. We have now parked on our lovely uh, landing zone without too much hassle. And now I can get rid of this landing. And uh, now I can get rid of this. Uh, we probably won't need this thing, though I might want to keep it. Do I want to keep it? Yeah, sure. Uh, right, so let's, let's build out a path for it. Yes. Right, here we go. Uh, parking off. Careful. Right, mm hmm. Now, uh, I remember this thing being slippy, so let's uh, deal with that first, shall we? Um, strength determined? It's like something important. Oh, yeah, it's the strength of the. Strength of friction, isn't it? Well, strength of the... No, no, this is strength of suspension, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's all coming back to me now. Uh, friction's at 50. Yeah, strength, we should put at 25. Um, power, we're going to put at 30. Going up. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Mosey this down. Uh, we're going to need to adjust... There we go. And park. Cool. Right. And then uh, turn you off. We don't need you on. Right. And then we can get rid of this. And it's associating conveyors. Why is there a gun in there? I didn't put a gun in there. Or well, actually, it's it's likely that I did and forgot. Kill everything. Uh, this will stay for now until I can build a replacement. Uh, and then I've just got to deconstruct all of this, which is going to take time. Valuable time. Uh, yeah, so next episode, we'll get to building a factory and have it start uh, automating the production of resources. Uh, we're then also going to need a refinery building to house some refineries and a cargo building to house cargo. So basically, we're setting up the next stage of the base by putting.
putting these things in designated areas instead of haphazardly around like we've currently been doing. Also means I can get more hydrogen tanks. Yes. Um, and I'll be welding up all of this and deconstructing what we don't need in between episodes so you don't have to witness that constantly. I'll probably also build the other defensive towers and then slowly but surely start working on uh, planning out the the wall which will uh, ring this uh, crater to protect us against those who seek to kill us. But until then, my name has been Zero Jake. End transmission.